Hey guys, Emmanuel here and before I jump into the video, I just want to ask you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to give you guys a second to do that. Okay, now that's over guys. Scotty Barnes has been improving a lot this summer. He's been making a lot of headlines this off season. Um, just about a week ago, a week and a half ago, his trainer came out and said that Scotty has gotten exponentially better. And when I hear those words, it's music to my ears, right? He said that uh, Scotty's gotten exponentially better, that the one that when the season ended, Scotty hit him up and they got right to work in the gym and he had specific things that he wanted to work on that's when i know that's, that that brings joy to me uh, and brings a smile on my face because uh scotty is astute and he he understands the game and he learns the game to be able to go to a trainer and say hey listen this is what i want to work on even with that his trainer said that scotty has been in the weight room and he's been putting in work uh scotty has put on 10 pounds of muscle mass and that's great right that's great because now he won't get bullied in the paint he's on his way to getting his man body and it shows too right now if you see scotty barnes in the latest pictures the latest videos he looks jacked he looks huge like and, and, and i like that right hopefully he knows how to move with that extra weight that he's putting on i mean it's not too much you know so it's not like he just gained a bunch of weight out of nowhere so i feel like he's going to be able to play with that really well and adapt to it and scotty's defense has gotten way better too in the videos i've seen recently scotty looks like he can clamp up anyone in fact just about a week ago at the rico hines run in los angeles uh scotty barnes just <laughs> clamped up james harden so hard he clamped him up so hard that james harden had to acknowledge him he had nothing but respect he had to let him know listen bro you got that dog in you Things, seeing things like that, seeing Scotty's uh, abilities be tested by former MVPs, I love it. And the best part about it is this is all just in one year. This is one year of improvement, right? Scotty Barnes has surprised me so much because when he, when he was about to get drafted, I was one of those people that said, no, let's not draft Scotty Barnes. Let's draft Jalen Suggs because I thought Jalen Suggs was a better player than him, right? Because if you remember Jalen Suggs and Gonzaga nailing buzzer beaters, looked like he was clutch, but clearly Scotty Barnes is the better player of the two. Now, that may not always be the case, but clearly as of right now, Scotty Barnes is the better player of the two. And he's, he's impressed me so much. This is a kid, when I look at him, has so much potential. So I wanted to make this video and ask, What's his ceiling? With so much potential inside of him, what's his ceiling? Is he the next LeBron? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not the next LeBron. Um, but he's going to be good, right? Uh, he can get close to them. I'm not going to say blasphemous stuff like he's the next LeBron, but he's going to get up there, right? So in order to kind of predict his future, we let's first look at what he's managed to accomplish. His first accomplishment in the NBA was he managed to you know, he drafted as the fourth pick overall in the 2021 NBA draft, something that is not easy to do. And if they were to do a redraft right now, I'm pretty sure Scotty Barnes would go higher just because of the way that he he's kind of separated himself from his peers, right? You know, he beat all of his peers and was able to win rookie of the year this year, something that I honestly didn't see coming that, that's that's amazing right especially when you consider the pool of players that he was competing against right this year's uh rookie class was really really deep it was really good right you had guys like josh giddy evan mobley kate cunningham jalen green jalen sugg scotty barnes it was a fierce battle and and scotty was able to separate himself from the pack i love that because i know uh in the states they hate whenever something good happens to the Toronto Raptors. So for Masai Ujiri to pick this kid out of Florida and for him to win the Rookie of the Year, it just brought joy to me. But I think with all that being said, Scotty has a bright future ahead of him. I think his ceiling is really high. I think Scotty Barnes' ceiling is all NBA first team. 
and I think he can win an MVP in the future, if not multiple MVPs. I don't want to say that he's going to win a championship because, of course, you can't say that because that is a team effort. That's a, a team accolade. And that depends on the people that surround him. If people that are around him, the players that are around him aren't good enough, he's not going to be able to win a championship. But hopefully he can. Um, I have faith. Masai Ujiri hoping that he stays in Toronto throughout you know, m the majority of Scotty Barnes' career because let's be honest, he's not always going to be there. You know what I mean? Like he may be there for the next four years and then he leaves and then the Toronto Raptors become a mess and management and they get rid of Nick Nurse and stuff like that. You never know what's going to happen. But hopefully the way things are going right now, Masai Ujiri is a very brilliant uh, uh, president, GM, and I think he's going to be able to surround Scotty with enough talent to try and at least compete for championships in the future because he is that kind of caliber of a player who's going to be able to compete at a high level, compete for championships, be able to outwork his, his peers. Uh, he's already shown to me that he's able to outwork a really talented group of people to win awards. So I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to be able to win accolades. First All-NBA, uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Definitely. I think he's going to win Defensive Player of the Year at least once in his in his career. But yeah, I'm not surprised because when, when I think, when I look at Scotty Barnes, when I see him, I think Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, to me, Scotty Barnes is if Giannis and Kawhi Leonard had a baby. Pause. But that's what I think when I look at Scotty Barnes. That's what comes to mind, right? He's huge, big, yet humble. He's so humble. When I look at Scotty Barnes, when he was first drafted, like when I see him in that jersey of the Blue Jays, a smile on his face, wide eyed just happy to be drafted, ready to work. I, I, I think of that one picture of Giannis Antetokounmpo when he was a rookie, just the scrawny kid, wide eyed, just ready to work, happy to be here, humble, yet he had that work ethic, crazy work ethic that's put him in the position that he is right now. That's what I think of. And when I see Scotty Barnes play defense, it reminds me a lot of how much Kawhi Leonard locks down elite, elite players. I think uh, Scotty Barnes can do that. And then also scoring, athletic, freakish athletic abilities, right? I, so that's what I think when I see Scotty Barnes. I think, man, if you could take Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kawhi Leonard and you meld them together, you would get Scotty Barnes, right? They have a lot of those traits. The skid man, he has a bright future ahead of him. I think he's going to go far. He's going to go places. I just hope that his individual success is able to translate into team success because I want to see my Raptors win. Uh, I want to see the Raptors back in the playoffs. I want to see the Raptors really compete. There are a lot of naysayers out there about the Toronto Raptors. You, you, and and they, they rear their heads, right? They rear their heads when the idea of Kevin Durant just leaving to go to Toronto. There were guys, right? Chris Broussard said, no, we don't want him up there. It's different, right? There are a lot of people out there that don't want to see the Raptors succeed. A lot of people in, this, in, in the state. So I'm, I'm, ho I'm praying for their success. I'm hoping for the success because every time the Toronto Raptors win, I want to see those talking heads, analysts. I want to see their face. I want, I want them to be forced to talk about the Toronto Raptors the following day after they win a championship because they cannot ignore the Toronto Raptors after that. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I think that's the ceiling for Scotty Barnes. He's definitely an integral part of the Toronto Raptors future. Um, but guys, those are just my thoughts on Scotty Barnes. Uh, thank you guys for watching until the end. If you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and until next time, kids.